It, the family of one of the three victims, 19-year-old A.J. Laguerre, shared this photo of him. They say he had a cheerful soul and playful personality with a laugh that would fill up a room. News for Jack's reporters Alicia Hatcher and Eric Avigny are continuing our coverage tonight. And we begin with Alicia, who's been working to learn more about the victims. Alicia? Kent, speaking with the victims' families and their attorneys, they share who these three individuals were as a person. Most recently, I spoke with A.J. Laguerre's family, who said he worked at this Dollar General and he loved his job and taking care of others. At today's news conference, we heard from Angela Cares, a pastor who says that she was a loving and caring mother. At that conference was also Gerald Galeon's family, who said he was a devoted father. Now, three families are more the loss of a loved one. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump is representing the family of 52-year-old Angela Carr, who was killed in the racially motivated shooting Saturday. Today, he held a news conference alongside faith leaders and other victim family attorneys. Carr was one of the first victims to be killed by the shooter. Crump says she was working as an Uber driver when she was killed. It is heartbreaking to them to see that image of him pointing that gun at their mother's car and shooting 11 rounds, 11 rounds into that innocent black woman. Her pastor, Dr. David Green Sr. says she was a loving and caring mother. She was, uh, brought her, brought Angel, brought her, brought her daughter, uh, basically uh, to, the, to the church. Uh, her, her daughter was, uh, the family was raised in this church. She was a person who was a provider, provider for her family. A.J. Laguerre also lost his life in the shooting. Laguerre worked at the Dollar General after finishing high school. His family released a statement to News for Jack saying, the family has mixed emotions. Some are angry. Everyone is sad and confused. We're trying not to let hate fill our hearts because of one individual's ill intent. We don't know why he was taken so soon, but we know God has him and we will continue to keep the faith. He's up there with his mom now. Until we meet again, A.J., we love you. Gerald Gallian was the third victim killed. His family says he was a hardworking family man. He was a very devoted father. He was there every step of the way from day one when we found out I was going to be a grandmother. He didn't miss a beat. He didn't miss a doctor's appointment. And had a close relationship with his four-year-old daughter. Now she's asking, who shot my daddy? When are they bringing Gerald home? I have no answers for her. All I can do is hold her and her mother and listen to my daughter cry. Crump says he and the other attorneys are looking into every avenue for justice for these families. For now, reporting live, Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Alicia.